Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem involving the manipulation of algebra, especially a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared, which is a perfect test for beginners. Here is the problem. Find all real solution to cube root of 5x squared plus 13x minus 20 minus cube root of 5x squared plus 13x minus 57 equals 1. Before we uncover the solution, I encourage you to hit the pause button, grab your pen and paper, and give it your best shot. When you're ready, feel free to share your answer in the comment. Then we'll explore the solution together. Let's get started. Let A be the first term of the left-hand side of the equation, and B be the second term. Hence, A power 3 is 5x squared plus 13x minus 20, and b power 3 is 5x squared plus 13x minus 57. From the condition, a minus b equals 1, and strict calculation for a cubed minus b cubed give 37. Using the formula a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared, and the condition a minus b, we obtain the following. Note that a squared plus b squared is a minus b squared plus 2ab. So after some calculation, ab equals 12. Now, note that a plus b squared is a minus b squared plus 4ab, which evaluates to 49, or 7 squared. This implies that a plus b is either 7 or negative 7. Combining this with the condition a minus b equals 1, we get two sets of solution, a equals 4 or a equals negative 3. Recall that a is a cube root of 5x squared plus 13x minus 20. Hence, we obtain a quadratic equation if a equals to 4 as follows. Solving the equation gives x equals negative 28 over 5 or x equals 3. Similarly, for a equals negative 3, we also obtain a quadratic equation in x as shown. Solving this equation gives x equals negative 13 plus minus square root of 29 over 10. While we have successfully solved the equation, here is an interesting observation. The graph of y equals cube root of 5x squared plus 13x minus 20 minus q root of 5x squared plus 13x minus 57 is as shown. The x coordinate of the intersection point of this graph and the graph y equals 1 are the solutions to our problem today. It's always beneficial to practice what you have learned. Look at this graph, we may ask the following question. Feel free to try this question and share your answer in the comments. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting math challenges in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.